Okay, so we know this is not my hair, but you can't tell me this is not my hair. I'm feeling all kind of exotic today, and it's all thanks to Ash and Mary Hair. They sent me this beautiful 13 by 6 silky straight full frontal wig, and I'm about to hook it up for you guys and show you guys how I install her. So for starters, this is the packaging, and then this is a look at the star of the show. As I mentioned, this is a 13 by 6 full frontal lace wig, which means you get all of the 13 by 6 parting no restrictions at all i'm going to remove the tag they provided and we're going to just go ahead and put her on i'm going to remove a little bit of the lace not all of it quite yet just enough so that i can see now i'm already feeling myself feeling myself level 10 has been activated I pulled the camera back so you guys can really see the true beauty of this hair she's nice she's full she's silky she's everything here I'm showing you guys what she looks like set as a center part and as you guys can see the 13 by 6 is truly 13 by 6 in. I'm also going to show you what she looks like set as a side part. Now I did go for a curve but you guys can see you can go super deep with your side part and it gives a lot a lot of parting space. So let's go ahead and pull her back and begin the customization process. Step one is going to be just to cut off all the excess lace around the ears. You want your wig to cuff your ear like a glove and fit super snug and i definitely did a great job at that now we're going to just use a little bit of wax paired with the electric hot comb this is what we call the dynamic duo over here and it's just a great duo of a product with a heat that's going to give me a nice snatched hairline we're going to repeat this step in the parting in just a minute but for now it just really opens up the parting so that you can see how beautiful it is now, although it's beautiful, it's a very nice pre-pluck. It's a uniform pre-pluck where you can see the perfect cuts and angles, like a perfect hairline when you get a lineup. I want it to be a lot more unnatural and jagged, just to mimic a, like a natural hairline where it's not so perfect. So I did one side in the center, and now I'm doing that last side. And really, again, it's just to make it a little bit more open and sparse. I think I did a great job on that. So we can move on to just removing the excess lace. Now I'm going to just take a pair of shears and just cut as close as I can without cutting into the air. And you can also see how well the lace blends with my own complexion. Definitely high quality. Now we're going to take this spray from Got To Be Glued. It's a little bit different than the one we're typically used to, but it definitely is a great option. I find this at Target and I do two steps or two layers where I apply a layer, I blow dry on a cool setting, or use a portable fan. Once it gets tacky, I add a second layer and I put the lace on top. And it makes it a little bit more like sticky and tacky. So like in this step where I'm using my fingers, it's really adhering and melting down. From here, I'm going to use the melt belt that Ash and Mary Hair provided. And we're going to go ahead and allow the hairline to get super set and super snatch. I did kind of help along with this portable fan to get it really dry. Obviously, a blow dryer would do a much better job at this step. You can definitely do it on a cool setting. But look how flawless my lace came out. Now we're going to take a heat protectant, and I believe this is from OGX. I'll have it in the description box. It smells really good. We're going to go ahead and step out that center parting, and I'm just using the wax stick again. And this is, again, the Dynamic Duo, and it's the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. And these two items will come together and create magic. It's going to really, really, you got to see how much body there is in the parting and lumps. It's going to take all of that definition and volume that we have and give it more of a sleek look in the parting space. Now, I love volume, but a lot of times when it comes to my wigs, I just feel like it looks a little bit better on me and more professional and just sleek when I have a super, super pressed look along the lace. And I'm just going to do a million and one heat passes. So if it looks like I'm giving the hair some heat damage, I use blow dry spray. I use a good heat protectant to prevent the hair from getting damaged. And typically, I've never had like extreme damage from these steps on a wig but as you guys can see my lace is becoming more and more snatched and you guys can now see the vision and see how good of a job I'm doing at this flawless install because the hairline was so crisp and perfect I wanted to go ahead and take it up a notch by adding a little baby hair I did two swoops one on either side and I'm just using the edge control from bidetbeauty.com to really go in and form those swoops. Now the shape of the baby hair does make a difference to me. And sometimes using the pencil flat iron or the pixie flat iron will definitely help in making the shape a lot easier to form. Because I didn't use that flat iron, I am really taking my time and just really giving it that good swoop look that doesn't look too ghetto and it looks more like 
a celebrity stylist did it. You can also repeat this step with the sideburns. Today, I just wasn't going for a sideburns. It's over 100 degrees during the day in LA, and I just know my sideburns will not stand a chance. So I'm going to opt to go ahead and tint the lace. I'm using a cream foundation in the parting and this is a little light so if you want to go a little bit more darker in shade you can definitely find one that's going to blend with your skin a little bit better but I like to use something that is a little bit thicker or heavier to really hide the grids in the lace and to make sure that it is not like giving off yellow or orange and it's giving off a good tint I'm also going to go ahead and use the corresponding powder in the hairline for the powder I did start off with the Maybelline Fit Me and it just wasn't blending but you guys see when I use the Ruby Kisses it almost did an airbrush effect where like you really couldn't see where the lace was. Also, don't forget to blend out all of your products. I didn't do it quite yet, but I'm definitely going to do it in a minute off camera. Now here I'm going for a style I seen Ari do on Instagram where she had like the full beautiful you know long black wig she also had the baby hair in the front but then she did these two little bang pieces in the front and then she took the rest of the hair and made like a half up half down ponytail in the back hers was a braid i'm just gonna do a ponytail with the curls um and i love the way it came out so i'll show you how i did it first we did pull out those bang pieces i'm gonna take a little hairspray at the base of the hair piece or the bang I'm not sure what you call these i call them bangs but they have a different name and i'm gonna get it super straight and super flat because they will kind of bulk up and kind of like stick out and this definitely helps for them to look a lot more lay like arrogant tay did it then i'm just going to go ahead and add some spiral curls now the curls did not come out as tight as i would want them so later in the video you'll see they'll magically appear a little bit more defined and more curly i did go ahead and add more curl off camera and they were perfect um i was nervous about the baby hair clashing with those bangs but honestly i personally like it you for sure can do your own thing if you want to do bangs and no baby hair that's an option or you can do different type of baby hair or you can do no baby hair or no bang. Literally, you can a la carte and customize this look to your own liking. Next, I'm going to take my Baby List Pro Flat Iron. I'm just going to go ahead and curl the ends. A lot of the times, especially when you're working with like longer hair, it won't hold a curl as well. Or the curls will drop when you do curls from top to bottom. Today, I honestly didn't even want that. I just wanted the nice volume at the very ends but i really wanted to keep the length up top so i'm curling the hair away from the face and i'm using really large chunks because i knew this hair held a curl really well i wasn't really worried about going in with smaller sections i just wanted to add that definition as best i could just to match those curly bangs that i provided and then I add a flexible hold hairspray and they definitely held like days later the curl at the end was still there. The flex hold hairspray is either Dove or Pantene. I'll have it in the description box. And here I am curling that ponytail just to add that same bit of oomph. And everything came out amazing. I love, love, love this look. It definitely is super easy to achieve. Very much something that you can customize yourself. Here I'm going to show you guys the goodies. This is the box from Ash and Mary Hair. And as you guys can see, I am seeing blue. They provided the melt belt that we used in the video, which is absolutely beautiful. I love this Tiffany blue kind of color, turquoise blue. They also provided your baby hair brush as well as your edge brush. And these are both yellow, but they're really, really cute. They also provided a pair of lashes. And then, of course, they provided a robe which matches their packaging, their logo, and their melt belt. Off camera, I did pull the ponytail down with the baby hair back so you guys can see options and how it looks just straight down both looks were amazing but you guys can see it looks good straight down but it also looks good with the ponytail thank you guys so much for watching direct link in the description box and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches